Good morning, everyone. Wow. Gorgeous morning. And I just woke up from car camping. And I'm pretty sure this is going to be another Patreon exclusive video. Or maybe it's not. If it's not, you need to know that I create Patreon exclusive videos just like this one. That if you're not on Patreon, you haven't seen it because you're not on Patreon. That's right. I'm releasing private videos and you're missing out on that. So, if you want to learn more about that, link in the description. But I am at South Meadow at the Klondike, just outside of Lake Placid, New York. And it is peak foliage. I thought I'd take you on a little adventure today to show you what I got going on here. It's so nice out here. I'm gonna go back to my car now and we're going to, I'm gonna go get the rest of my gear. Whew, it is nice and warm in the car. I want everyone to see this. I want you guys to see what goes into the making of one of my photographs. Uh, and I'm about to go to a spot that I have been wanting to go to for ever. Uh, one thing I would like to note as a caveat is that where I'm going is off trail. I would just be mindful of that. I'm not necessarily recommending anyone go to this place. It's just something that I have personally mapped out myself. Because of that, I'm not gonna show exactly on the map where I'm going. Oh, by the way, since I guess I'm putting this on my YouTube channel, my name is Jonathan Zaharik. I am a professional photographer here in the Adirondacks, and uh, this is also the number one High Peaks hiking YouTube channel. Probably many of you know that I'm in transition from Ohio back to New York, uh, hopefully by the end of the fall. Uh, and so for this two week trip that I'm in New York, I'm living out of my car, but I'll tell you, it is so comfortable. I got a tempur mattress here. You know, I got all my hiking food and uh, groceries, Pop-Tarts, actually I need one of those. Camera equipment that's just laying out in the trunk because I don't have a ton of space in that bag because I, I actually sold my Pelican case. But as I've said, I've been up here for the last two weeks photographing the foliage and I'm gonna show you guys here in a second some scenes that I have seen and captured over the past week here. It is October 2nd and it is the perfect day in the Heart Lake High Peaks area. But before I show you that stuff, it's not all perfect as a photographer. Your gear, I cracked my polarizer filter yesterday. And this is a big boy, because this is for the lens that I'm shooting this video on, my 14 to 24 millimeter lens. Uh, but I cracked it because it fell while I was filming a shot at the lake yesterday. See, just like that, I just dropped a camera lens I'm trying to get my gimbal out here. See, I got, <laughs> although this lens here is like 10 years old and you know, it doesn't really work with this camera anymore. But I do promise that the camera that I'm filming on, I take great care of, or I try to. This is my brand new Nikon Z8. Now, I wish I could actually physically show you the camera and show you how I'm photographing and everything that I'm doing, but I, I can't because I'm filming on it. So that's the hard thing about showing you guys how I photograph or what I'm doing. But at least this is just showing you the scouting side of things. But I'm about to switch everything to my gimbal as I start to hike here, which is this bad boy. I got one last thing for you. So... I just ordered a ton of new prints for my gallery, the gallery that I show my work in, Gallery 46 on Main Street, Lake Placid. Um, but this yes. print right here, it's in the plastic wrap still. It is a metal, it is a metal print of the fall foliage from a couple years ago from Heart Lake. Right here, the corner actually got damaged slightly. It's not totally, like it hasn't ruined the image or anything like that. It's just to the point where I don't really want to sell that in the gallery. So I don't really know what to do with the picture. So guess what? I'm gonna give it away to one of you guys. Actually, let me rephrase that. I'm gonna give it away to one of my Patreon supporters. <laughs> so yeah, if you guys want to, that uh, Patreon is a way um, to support me as a creator so I can continue to making videos like this and pumping out material for you guys in the high peaks for years to come, hopefully. So go ahead and check that out. And also while you're at it, pre-order a 2024 high peaks calendar. I am fantastic at overlong intros, but I'm a personable guy and I love talking. So, since you've heard me talk long enough, here are some shots that I've taken over the past week of the foliage here in the High Peaks.
right, and we are on our way. I really hope you enjoyed those shots. Oh, you know what? Right here, I'm noticing that. I think that's from the lunt. Here, let me see if I can, oh, there we go. All right, yeah, see now you just can't even notice it. Can't even notice it. Ah, oh, frick. All this stuff is wet, man. I don't want to get wet. I actually don't have any Gore-Tex stuff with me right now. I'm wearing a puffy, so I don't want I don't want that to get wet. Oh my gosh, I completely forgot the bridge is out too. Oh, dude, hurricanes, man. Look at this. Okay, maybe, maybe we can get across. Yeah, that, that looks good. That looks good. All right, here we go, easy peasy. It looks like they're maybe attempting to rebuild that. All right, well, I'm just gonna go off into the woods here and start going north. Just like that, we are now off trail. I'm gonna keep this north bearing for probably about a quarter to a half a mile, somewhere in that range. I haven't really mapped it out. So yeah, I don't really have too much to show. I mean, it's, it's just the woods, but I love bushwhacking. Make sure that if you ever bushwhack, you do responsibly, do your research, always bring a map and compass, pre-plot your routes and GPS so you know at least exactly where you're going. Yeah, where am I going? I'm just kidding. <laughs> now I gotta figure out how to get past this river, this little, little river here unscathed. I got my Gore-Tex shoes on, so I can get a little wet, but. Ugh. Nothing like starting your morning off with a little whack. A little whacking, the color is starting to look so nice through here. I'm quite literally following herd pads made by deer. Okay. Making good progress, we're almost there. This is so cool. You can literally see the path. I've never really seen a picture taken from this place, but that doesn't mean there hasn't been. You can see the opening just ahead. If my calculations are correct, there should be a beaver dam to cross because I saw it on satellite, but who knows if it's still there? Because I need to get across this river, and there's no other way to unless I'm gonna get unless I'm gonna get wet. Woo! There we are. Oh come on! Oh gosh! Oh man, I hope this is worth going to. Oh, there's the dam. Oh, yes, we're gonna make our way over to it. So way off there in the distance. So there's the dam right there. And that's Mount Van Hovenberg. Ugh. This is exciting. Thank you, beavers. Hopefully no one's home. All right. I am now going to cross the beaver dam with a very expensive camera. Okay, it's okay though. Not Definitely not the sketchiest thing I've ever done. Oh, this river is perfect though. Oh, this is great. Whoa, whoa! Woo! Okay, almost just fell in. We're gonna move away from the river. Okay, so here's the objective. I'm gonna go around this meadow following the herd paths looking for a bright maple tree by itself because those sun rays are gonna come in and it's really nice and hazy and foggy in here. And the god rays are gonna be out of this world. That's why I picked this place because I knew there's always fog in this area which I can see and single trees. And when that sun comes up here in a second through the valley, it's gonna be amazing. But it is nice, wide, and open through here. Wow, do you guys see that ridge line? That is awesome. This is a beautiful spot. Just to show you how tall this grass is. You know. Uh, but then there's bumps. Uh. And then there's rivers. Dang it. Ooh, gosh. I've got my eyes set on that tree right there. Okay, just kidding. That's probably not gonna happen. Because I, I looked on the map. I am definitely not getting over this. There we go. Look at that. Wow. Let's do a 360. There's definitely not as much fog in here as I'd like. I was hoping for a little more. There's a lot over there. 
I'm, I can't really get over there. I don't really want to, and I don't have time. But we'll see what this turns into. I'm gonna let the sun rise just a little bit more here. So I just heard two extremely loud gunshots. But from the direction they came, I didn't think about that. But I'm not, I'm not in an area that people hunt, so that's why I didn't think about it. But maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, so I'm not gonna lie, this is not turning out at all how I was expecting it to or wanting it to, but I've never been here, so I, I have no idea, you know, but uh, clearly the fog is rising. There's clearly no maples in here. There's hunters. So I feel like I should go. I can actually hear their voices. This has been rather a intense outing for such a short thing, but look how beautiful this is. See, it's things like this that are really cool. This little uh, spider web thing. Look at that. Just a nice little string. Yeah, see, look at this guy. Wow, that is amazing. I will say, despite the lack of, I'm sorry, Mr. Spider. Uh, photography this is still exceptionally beautiful and peaceful and I'm glad I could share it with you I am gonna make my way back here to the dam and you know back to the car yeah and I hope at least you guys found this video enjoyable let me guys know if uh, in the coming months and throughout this next year if you guys want more you know unique adventure Things like this because obviously it's a it's not me on a high peak which is fine I'm not trying to only show me up in the high peaks yeah. yeah let me know in the comments below what kind of videos you guys would like to see over the next year and we're now back to the dam yeah look at that oh man I might take a photo of this this is sweet we'll say I will probably try to come out here next year or something like that again because you know I gotta get that foggy morning and I I could come out here next tomorrow or the next day but it's kind of a hassle. I feel like I could find the same type of photo somewhere else. I can definitely confirm that it's beavers. I can see their teeth marks on the wood. Bye, Mr. Beaver Dam. Now I'm just gonna make my way back to the car, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. This was a fun little outing experience for me. Uh, I have plenty of videos in the works, like I said. I'm gonna be completely redoing the whole guide to the high peaks here on my YouTube channel, creating a whole new kind of videos for that. And I got a bunch of other stuff in the works that I'm excited to release, not on YouTube. Make sure you follow me on social media if you want to be up to date on all things high peaks every single day, because I'm posting about it consistently on my story. So with that being said, I'm Jonathan Zaharik. We'll see you next time. Oh yeah, look at that. That's fresh. That is, that's fresh. Beavers are active. Watch out, guys.